Hey Hydro Haven family, welcome back to another exciting episode. Today we're going to clear up one of the most common questions we get here. What's the difference between aquaponics and hydroponics? If you've been wondering which system is right for your gardening needs, you're in the right place. Both aquaponics and hydroponics are fantastic ways to grow plants without soil, but they work in completely different ways, and understanding these differences is key to choosing the right one for your home garden. In this video, we'll compare both systems in detail, helping you figure out which method works best for your space, budget, and the types of plants you want to grow. But before we dive into the details, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and share this video with anyone interested in alternative growing methods. Let's get started. What is hydroponics? Hydroponics is a method of growing plants without soil, where the plant's roots are submerged in a nutrient-rich water solution. In this system, water and nutrients are delivered directly to the roots, allowing for fast growth and high yields. There are various types of hydroponic systems like deep water culture DWC, nutrient film technique NFT, and ebb and flow, but they all share the same core principle. Plants get everything they need from the water solution, and no soil is involved. One of the biggest advantages of hydroponics is precision. Since you control the nutrient mix, pH, and water levels, you can tailor the environment to suit the specific needs of the plants you're growing. Hydroponics is particularly great for growing plants like lettuce, herbs, and strawberries, which thrive in nutrient-dense water. However, there's a catch. Hydroponics relies on you constantly maintaining and managing the nutrient solution to ensure your plants thrive. Without the right balance of water and nutrients, plants can quickly suffer from deficiencies or imbalances. What is aquaponics? Aquaponics, on the other hand, is a combination of aquaculture, raising fish, and hydroponics, growing plants in water. In an aquaponic system, you have fish that live in a tank, and the water from the fish tank is used to feed the plants. The fish waste provides natural nutrients for the plants, while the plants filter and purify the water for the fish. This creates a closed-loop ecosystem where both the plants and fish thrive together. Aquaponics requires more space than hydroponics because you need to accommodate both the fish tank and the growing beds. It's also more of a self-sustaining system since the fish supply the nutrients naturally, meaning you won't need to add as many chemicals or synthetic fertilizers. Tilapia, goldfish, and koi are some common fish used in aquaponics systems. The biggest benefit of aquaponics is that it's a natural ecosystem that requires less maintenance when properly balanced. The fish feed the plants and the plants clean the water for the fish. This makes aquaponics a great option for people who want a low-input self-sustaining system. Key Differences Between Aquaponics and Hydroponics Now that we know the basics of both systems, let's dive into the key differences that will help you decide which one is right for you. Nutrient Source Hydroponics. In hydroponics you provide all the nutrients to your plants in the form of a liquid nutrient solution. You mix and adjust the nutrients yourself, and you have complete control over the exact composition of the solution. Aquaponics. In aquaponics the nutrients come from the fish waste. The fish produce ammonia as a byproduct of their metabolism, which is then converted into nitrates by bacteria. These nitrates are absorbed by the plants, making the system more sustainable since you don't have to add as many synthetic fertilizers. Maintenance Hydroponics Hydroponic systems require constant monitoring and maintenance of the nutrient levels and pH of the water and water quality. You need to replenish the nutrients regularly and check the water parameters to make sure your plants are getting everything they need. Aquaponics Aquaponic systems are more self-sustaining. Once established, the system is pretty low maintenance. You still need to monitor the water quality, but the fish provide most of the nutrients for the plants. The key maintenance task is ensuring the fish tank is healthy and that the plants are filtering the water efficiently. Cost Hydroponics Starting a hydroponic system can be cheaper upfront, especially if you're focusing on small-scale growing like herbs or leafy greens. You'll need to buy nutrient solutions, a water pump, and some form of growing medium, but it's generally less costly to set up than aquaponics. Aquaponics Aquaponic systems can be more expensive to set up initially because they require both fish tanks and grow beds. You'll also need to purchase a pump, filters, and appropriate fish. 
Additionally, aquaponics requires more space than hydroponics, so if you're working with a limited area, it may not be as feasible. Space requirements. Hydroponics. Hydroponic systems can be set up in smaller spaces, including indoor spaces because they don't require fish tanks. They are ideal for urban environments or places with limited outdoor space. Whether you're growing on a windowsill or in a small greenhouse, hydroponics is adaptable. Aquaponics. Aquaponic systems typically require more space especially because you need both a fish tank and grow beds. This can be an issue if you're working with limited space indoors or on a small patio. However, if you have the room, aquaponics can be a fun and engaging system to manage. Best plants for each system. Hydroponics. Hydroponics is ideal for growing leafy greens, herbs, and small fruiting crops like strawberries or peppers. These plants tend to thrive in nutrient-dense water solutions, where you can precisely control the nutrient mix. Aquaponics. Aquaponics is often better suited for larger plants like tomatoes, cucumbers, and leafy greens, but it's especially good for fruiting plants that need a bit more stability and nutrient flow. You can also grow herbs and other vegetables, but it requires careful management of the system to avoid nutrient deficiencies. Environmental Impact Hydroponics Hydroponics uses a closed water cycle, so it is a water-efficient system. However, because you're using synthetic nutrients, there can be an environmental impact if those chemicals aren't disposed of properly. Aquaponics Aquaponics has a smaller environmental footprint since it combines fish farming with plant growing. The system is naturally organic because it doesn't require synthetic fertilizers. Additionally, aquaponic systems are more water efficient than traditional farming since the water is continuously recycled. Which system is right for you? So, which one should you choose? It really depends on your goals, space and interest in managing a more complex system. Choose hydroponics if you have limited space, want to focus on leafy greens or herbs, and are ready to manage your nutrients carefully. Hydroponics is great for beginners who want to start growing fast and efficiently, especially if you're after precise control over your growing environment. Choose aquaponics if you want a self-sustaining system with fish and are interested in a more low-maintenance garden. Aquaponics is great if you have more space and are looking for a system that combines the joy of growing plants with the responsibility of caring for fish. Conclusion both aquaponics and hydroponics have their unique advantages, and which one you choose depends on your personal preferences and gardening goals. Whether you go for the simplicity and precision of hydroponics or the natural self-sustaining system of aquaponics, you'll be growing plants in a way that's better for the environment and gives you delicious homegrown produce. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to subscribe, share this video with your fellow gardening enthusiasts, and drop any questions you have in the comments. Let me know what system you're thinking of trying, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy gardening!